Welcome to the ENCODE Users Meeting. I'm glad to be here today to tell you about our recent work on an atlas of POS3 transcribed LO elements. LO elements are primate specific retrotransposons. A full length LO is 280 nucleotides long, and its consensus sequence is shown on the left. There are 1.2 million copies of LOs in the human genome. It evolved from the fusion of two 7SL RNAs called its left and right arms. The left arm has an A box and a B box, which are recognized by RNA polymerase 3. Some LOs are transcribed by RNA polymerase 3, while others are inserted into genes that are transcribed by RNA polymerase 2. The focus of today's talk is POS3 transcribed LOs. Even though LOs are highly prevalent in our genome and can have important functions, it has been difficult to study individual elements because they have highly similar sequences. Tom Gingeros's lab developed a new assay called Rampage during ENCODE Phase 3, which allowed us to overcome this difficulty. We start out by asking three questions. Rampage is a paired end sequencing technique that connects the 5' end of transcripts to regions that are 300 to 1,000 base pairs downstream. Rampage reads are highly concentrated at the transcription start sites, abbreviated as TSSs from now on. We built a computational pipeline to identify individual LO elements using Rampage data. We were faced with two main challenges. Number one, LO sequences are highly repetitive. Luckily, POS3 typically transcribe well into the downstream region. Thus, Rampage allows us to take advantage of these non-repetitive downstream sequences to uniquely assign reads to individual LO elements. Number two, POS3 transcribed LO RNAs are typically expressed at low levels and the signal may be contaminated by the typically much stronger POL2 transcription of nearby genes. Our solution is to establish two parameters in our pipeline, the entropy of the reads that map to each LO locus, and the effective length of the rampage read pairs. Here is an example of POL3 transcribed LO elements. Its TSS is annotated by 19 rampage reads, which end at various locations downstream. This locus is also supported by RNA-seq data and the chip-seq data of POL3 components. There are about a half of a million LO elements located in intergenic regions. Theoretically, they would be transcribed by POL3 and not by POL2. When we applied our pipeline to the Rampage data from 155 samples, we identified in total 17,000 elements expressed in at least one sample. Thus, only 3.5% of intergenic LO elements show evidence of being transcribed. This Venn diagram illustrates the breakdown of the 17,000 expressed LO elements across tissues, cell lines, and primary cells. Most of the expressed LO elements were expressed in only one sample. For downstream analysis, we define those 3,784 elements that were expressed in three or more samples as being robustly expressed. We examined the tissue specificity of the 17,000 expressed LO elements across the 104 tissue samples. With colors indicating tissue types, we can see that samples of the same tissue cluster together according to the Pearson correlation coefficients of their LO expression patterns. A subset of the tissue samples were donated by four individuals, and we performed hierarchical clustering on just these samples, and the results are shown in this heat map. The orange patches along the diagonal indicate that samples of the same tissue tend to cluster together. Specifically, the Pearson correlation coefficients among samples in the same tissue 
but from different donors were four times higher than the coefficients among the samples of the same donor but different tissues. Alu elements can be classified into three families, LUJ, LUS, and LY, conveniently in the alphabetical order from the oldest to the youngest. We hypothesized the younger families might have higher fractions of expressed LU elements. However, we did not observe a significant difference. So we went further by defining human-specific elements, which do not exist in four other primate genomes. The vast majority of expressed human-specific LU elements, 88% of them, are in the LY family, while the expressed non-human-specific LU elements show similar family composition as all annotated LUs. Among the expressed LU elements, the human-specific LUYs have significantly lower sequence divergence than the non-human-specific LUYs, while the difference is much smaller for the LUS and LUJ families. The human-specific LU elements are expressed at significantly lower levels than non-human-specific LU elements. Our results became more significant when we contrasted human-specific LUYs against non-human-specific LUYs or against human-specific LUS and LUJ elements. These results indicate that Although human-specific LU elements are mostly from the LUY family, these elements are expressed at low levels. Perhaps it is harmful for these young LUs to be expressed and mobile. In summary, we applied our pipeline to the Rampage data on 155 biosamples and identified 17,000 LU elements that were expressed in at least one sample. Transcribed LO elements exhibit high tissue specificity. Human-specific LOY elements are actively repressed. So we moved on to the next question. Which factors could affect the expression of pulse-3 transcribed LO elements? We examined various sequence features to distinguish expressed LO elements from unexpressed ones. We tested the composition of LU families, sequence divergence, strength, and the positions of A box and B box, but none of these could distinguish expressed from unexpressed elements. Because the sequence and the genomic features were not overly predictive of expressed LU elements, we turned our attention to epigenomic features, DNA methylation, histone modification, and chromatin accessibility. Because these epigenomic features are measured for each sample, we focused on three cell lines with a lot of genomic data and aimed to predict elements expressed in each cell line, but not in the other cell lines. Judged by the whole genome bisulfide sequencing data for K562, the LO elements specifically expressed in K562, depicted with the blue line, had significantly lower DNA methylation than the elements not expressed in any samples with the rampage data depicted in the gray line. And both groups of elements had significantly lower DNA methylation than the elements expressed in other samples depicted in the black line. We were surprised to see that the elements expressed in other samples had the highest DNA methylation in K562. And our results indicate that these elements are repressed in K562 by DNA methylation. We observed exactly the same trend with the whole genome bisulfide sequencing data in GM12878. The LO elements specifically expressed in GM, illustrated by the red line, had a significantly lower DNA methylation than the elements not expressed in any sample and the elements expressed in other samples. We next examined chromatin accessibility using DNA's seq data in these three cell lines, as shown by the three panels. 
The three colored curves indicate the L elements specifically expressed in each cell line. The top panel indicates that the L elements specifically expressed in K562 showed the highest average DNA signal in K562, much higher than the L elements specifically expressed in the other two cell lines. We examined the ChIP-seq data for H2A.Z, a variant of the histone H2A. We also examined the ChIP-seq data for a panel of histone modifications, and four of them are shown here. These histone marks are often associated with active enhancers. We observed the same trend. The blue curve is the highest in the top panel. The red curve is the highest in the middle panel and the yellow curve is the highest in the bottom panel, indicating that expressed L elements show high chromatin accessibility and active histone marks. We put the 17 epigenetic signals into a random forest classifier for each cell line, and these three classifiers performed very well, showing AUC of 0 0.91, 0 0.87, and 0.93 respectively, very close to the AUC of 1 for a perfect classifier. We asked which epigenetic signals were the most important for the excellent performance of these random forest classifiers. And across all three cell lines, chromatin accessibility and histone marks associated with active enhancers, such as H3K4ME2 and H3K27AC showed the highest importance. In response to our second question, we found that the expression of primary LO transcripts rely more on the genomic context than on their primary sequences. Furthermore, LO expression corresponds to open chromatin and active histone modifications. We move on with our third question. What might be the molecular functions of expressed L elements? We first compared the expression levels of the protein coding genes near L elements using RNA-seq data from the same sample as the Rampage data. We identified two sets of protein coding genes, those near expressed L elements in that particular sample and those near L elements unexpressed in that sample but were expressed in another sample with Rampage data. These two sets of protein coding genes are illustrated in yellow and gray, respectively, and the comparison between their expression levels is illustrated by the box plot, and a red asterisk above the box plot indicates that the genes near expressed L elements had a significantly higher expression. For many biosamples, we had both RNA-seq and Rampage data. So we performed this analysis in each sample and ended up with a whole lot of box plots, one for each biosample. These results consistently showed that the genes near expressed L elements were expressed at significantly higher levels than the genes near unexpressed L elements. The results of ENCODE phase 3 were published in a number of Nature papers in July 2020. Here is the main paper, which includes our work on a registry of nearly 1 million human candidate cis regulatory elements, abbreviated as CCREs. We classified our CCREs into groups by their epigenetic signals, which are predictive of their functions such as CCREs with promoter-like signatures, or PLS, and CCREs with enhancer-like signatures, or ELS. Although only 17% of unexpressed LO elements overlap CCREs, approximately twice as much expressed LO elements overlap CCREs. We observed a similar increase of expressed LO elements when we only considered the CCREs with enhancer-like signatures, or ELS. The enrichment of expressed LO elements with CCREs, with enhancer-like signatures, 
is cell type specific. As shown here for CCRIEs defined in K562 cells and the CCRIEs defined in GM12878 cells. Because L elements expressed in the same cell line showed a 12-fold enrichment over L elements expressed in other cell lines. By examining chia pet data in these two cell lines, we further observed that higher percentages of expressed LO elements were connected to promoters than unexpressed LO elements. We further took advantage of the wealth of ChIP-seq data and code has produced on transcription factors. We were somewhat surprised that many of the TFs with ChIP-seq data in K562 showed enriched binding at LO elements expressed in K562 cells. For a subset of these TFs, we also detected enriched motifs at the expressed LO elements, such as tau one and GATA1, which often act in a complex and must regulate erythropoiesis. Note that K562 is an erythroid cell line. A similar analysis on GM12878 reached the same conclusion. In search of direct evidence that expressed LO elements may function as enhancers, we examined three types of high super assays that provide a direct readout of enhancer activity of select genomic regions. First, we tested for overlap with enhancers detected by StarSeq in primed embryonic stem cells. We detected a four-fold increase in the LO elements expressed in embryonic stem cells over the LO elements expressed in other samples or unexpressed in any samples. We observed similar results using StarSeq data in naive embryonic stem cells. Sharper MPRA is another assay that provides a direct readout of enhancer function for select genomic regions. Here are two LO elements expressed in K562 cells that have enhancer activities by the Sharper MPRA assay applied to the same cell type. Overall, we observed significantly higher overlap between expressed LO elements and the sharper MPIA enhancers than for unexpressed LO elements. Finally, we analyzed the CRISPR QTL data, which yielded 664 enhancer gene pairs by introducing random combinations of Cas9 mediated CRISPR perturbation into 5,920 predicted enhancers and measuring their effects using single-cell transcriptome profiling in K562 cells. 15 of LO elements expressed in K562 were located in the enhancer regions they surveyed, and two of these LO elements showed significant regulatory effects on the expression of neighboring genes. In response to our third question, we found that expressed LO elements may act as cell type specific enhancers for nearby genes. We found many transcription factors bind to expressed LO elements. Some expressed LO elements have the enhancer activities judged by functional assays. Finally, I would like to give acknowledgments. Xiao Ou Zhang was a very talented postdoc in my lab who did all the computational analysis. The Rampage data were generated by Tom Gingeris' lab. We are very grateful to the wealth of ENCODE data and for the ENCODE consortium for collaborations and funding support. Thank you very much.